Good morning on another morning run. As I was running this time along this trail, it's kind of old road. I came to this old house. It looks like it's abandoned. Uh, it's a really nice house. I want to show you. It's been abandoned for a while, it looks like. I love these morning runs. This starts the day out right. And isn't it so pretty? I'm just amazed at how beautiful this area is. I love Italy. Well, I guess that's the end of that trail. <laughs> it's so overgrown right there. You see there's a footpath, but hardly at all. And <laughs> running under these trees and stuff. I'm gonna try a different route. Oh, there's our place. So pretty in the morning. It's a deer. I've seen one of two right there. I've scared several as I've been running. There they go. A little baby with its mama. Oh my goodness, what I do you have here? I love being in Italy. Oh my, my. Do oh, we get to have wow. something? I can tell Look why they beautiful. have the these colors. Hey, Isn't it ooh. red, white, and green? Are there Italian yes, colors? That's their flag. True yes. Italian feast right here. This is my favorite thing. We had this yesterday and I can't get enough of it. It's so fresh and flavorful. Oh, I can smell it. Mm, yummy. It's so good. Mm. And then I'm excited for bread. Daddy Grace is taking mommy into Foligno. I'm taking five days to do an online Zoom event because the internet is so crappy at our place. I have to go somewhere where the internet's great. And this hotel said it's it's really good. So I'm banking on that because that is the only reason I am there. And it's about an hour away from where we are. I'm gonna be sad to leave my family for five days, but it'll also help me really be able to focus and have the, the time that I need Use to the process right the information that I will be given. So yeah, it should be a great, great time. Look how pretty that city is, Grace. That's beautiful. It's so beautiful. As we drive along here, along the hillside, I'm amazed at these beautiful cities. I thought Assisi was the only one uh, along here, but that one was amazing right there. Spello, I think is what it was called. And oh my gosh, I love these Italian villages on these hills. I really want to go see this one. So this is awesome. Sam has a great opportunity today to learn from a cook. Uh, she is from the Netherlands. They're neighbors here at this place. Um, they live most of their time in, in the Netherlands, but they have a place here in Italy that's just above on the hill. And they've been so kind to us. Uh, we've become friends. And, and when she learned that Sam wants to learn to cook, um, they actually brought us some truffles uh, that they'd been given. Um, and so they're learning to make pasta and they're gonna use the truffles to make some great sauce for it. So just how awesome that they'd come and share this. So I'm gonna capture some of the fun that Sam's having and the other kids of learning how to make great authentic pasta, authentic right here in this region. Awesome. 
And then you have, have to make it for the whole family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like will. you're busy the whole day. Yeah. Uh, That's um, awesome. Uh, you're so okay. good. You're a chef. Uh, you Okay, I'm gonna make some tortellini. And then you put a little piece What's in that in there? It's pork, like some cheese with it, some like rosemary. Nice, that looks really good. You flip it over. That's awesome. I love what you guys have learned to make. Is that everyone's making together? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna eat good tonight, aren't we? Oh yeah, this is so fun. It's crazy just the little tiny techniques she teaches that make these so good. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. Sam, which one's your favorite to make? I like the tortellini. Yeah, you're making Me those too. beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait to eat them. Me either. All right, I'm making this uh, noodles and stuff right now. It's not all that hard, it's pretty easy actually just takes a while to get a lot so this has been really fun and i'm excited to get better at it so we're out of dough i'm trying to make some more dough last time i tried this it uh it turned out it is good dough but i don't think it worked how it was supposed to so the recipe i found you just kind of get some flour on a surface and then you make a little, I don't know, lake, I guess. And you put your eggs and oil inside of that and then kind of like fold it together. But last time I did that, it started leaking out the sides and it went everywhere. So let's see how I do this time. All right, now I have my eggs and oil in here. I think I'm supposed to like stir it together. I'm not really sure though. Holy smokes. He's been working for hours, honestly, on this. So that's how much it made, the dough she had. Uh-huh. So you're making some more dough and more tortellini. Yeah. All right, we all helped finish this up. The lighter one is dry and these ones we just made. All right, the pasta is sitting out in the sun right there. We're gonna make a sauce and try these things. I think they'll be just delicious. All right, putting the pasta in. Ah! So the kind family that's taught us how to make the uh, pasta today, uh, they live just above the hill, like I mentioned, and said we could come pick some sage. Oh my gosh, that smells good. For the fresh uh, sauce that we're making for the tortellini. I cannot wait for this dinner all handmade homemade by my own kids and all these ingredients right here from their land i love it all right they're cooking and we got some butter that we're gonna put some sage into for the sauce in here we had our butter and our sage and now we are putting the tortellini in and i'm excited to try this i'm cooking some tomato sauce so, I'm pretty sure you just saute some onions and garlic, and then you add tomatoes. Voila. Yeah, pretty much. And then we're cooking up the rest of the pastas. And there's several different types. Lots so. of types. This will be fun. Yeah. I've never had a smorgasbord of, uh, of noodles. Yeah, me neither. How was the tortellini, everybody? So good. Did, who helped make it? Me. Me. You all did. That was awesome. Grace, how did they taste? Good. Good. How about for you? I like yeah, the they're, uh, they're very good. the little sausage mix in the side inside of it. Very tasty. I'll try one. These are so good. Amazing that they're handmade. My boys did an awesome job. It's awesome that Sam and all the kids made these. They're so delicious. Yeah, he's still hungry. We got about seven or eight tortellinis, which were fantastic, by the way. Yeah. But we, so we did this and seven oh my gosh, mm. it is so good. I absolutely love it. I do. And the Parmesan cheese just like tops it off perfectly. It's like a fresh pizza. 
We're just doing it on bread because there's not a lot of noodles. So let's see how this there is. There are plenty of noodles if you want to. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. It was like made for the bread, wasn't it? Yeah, that's delicious. And the Garlic, onions, tomato, rosemary, sage, and basil, and salt. Mm. It's so good. It's seriously on this bread. It, it's like that's its meal in itself.